G'day guys, well today we're installing a hardcore 170 watt solar panel onto the Ford Ranger. Now it's gonna be a pretty simple install because I already have a dual battery set up inside the vehicle. So what we'll be running through is a, a few mounting options um, for the solar panel onto the roof rack uh, and also then running the wiring. So the main reason I went with this panel uh, was because of the profile. Uh, this panel is only 17 mil thick, uh, whereas comparatively uh, other panels are around about 35. So I wanted that nice low profile. All right, so let's take a look at the specs of the panel. Now it measures 660 wide by 1320 high um, and that's a 170 watt panel. So it is quite large. So just take uh, into consideration where you're actually gonna be mounting this. Um, the actual glass is 3.2 millimeter, high impact resistant, so it's definitely suitable for vehicle use. The actual panel itself is rated to 9.55 peak amps, so that's going to um, give you more than enough power to run a fridge uh, and all that sort of stuff when you're sort of camped up. Um, when I spoke about before is how the panel was 17 mil high, um, what that also does is actually gives you a weight reduction. So uh, about 30% compared to a standard panel. All right, so just taking a look at the back of the panel, one thing I forgot to mention was that the, the actual cells are monocrystalline and they're A-grade cells. So they're gonna give you really, really good performance. The actual connections on the back, they're MC4 connections. So that's your industry sort of standard solar connections. You've got your specifications sheet on the back here, um, listing out all those specifications as I previously spoke about. Now the frame itself is an aluminium frame and it's black powder coated, so it's very gonna, gonna be very durable. Um, it already has some pre-drilled holes. Um, now those holes are for the hardcore panel brackets that you can buy separately. Now they're about 30 bucks. Um, however, one thing I've, um, I've identified is that it's probably not gonna be suitable for my setup. Now I'm just running the Rhino Rack Vortex bars, um, so just the, uh, the, the, the two single bars, whereas this bracket's more designed for a platform like a Rhino Rack platform or a front runner or something like that. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've made up my own little brackets uh, for the solar panel that I'll be mounting to the roof. All right, so these are the brackets that I've fabbed up. I've just went down to Bunnings, grabbed some three millimeter aluminum angle, um, and then I've just cut them on 45 degrees to give them a nice little taper. Uh, Pre-draw the holes and then give them a coat of uh, black paint. Alrighty, so this is where my dual battery system is in the Ford Ranger uh, behind the rear seat here. Now to get to it, uh, simply just lay the seat forward and it exposes. Now I'm running a kick-ass deep cycle 120 amp hour AGM battery uh, coupled up to a uh, Red Arc BCDC 1240 charger. I do have a little fuse block here I do have a couple of accessories that run off it, such as fridge and lights and sort of stuff. However, what we need to do is we need to be able to run the wiring from the roof, from the solar panel, uh, down to the back into the tub, and then basically plug into the uh, BCDC. Now it's already pre-wired, all I need to do is literally plug in an Anderson plug and I've got solar panel. So it's going to be a really simple install. The hardest part is going to be getting the, uh, the wiring, which is behind this part of the seat here and this carpet. I've got to run the wiring from the roof uh, down into this rubber grommet uh, and then up into the, uh, into the back of the cab. All right, so that was pretty easy. Um, I just simply just removed a couple of those trim pieces uh, and then pulled the carpet back and it's now it's exposed this uh, rubber grommet. So this is the rubber grommet that we're gonna need to get the wires through. And you can already see where I've already got the, uh, the wiring going to the dual battery system. Um, I've got to somehow work out how to get another set of wires through this grommet. All right, so this is the, uh, the wiring kit that I'm using. Uh, so it's made by Hardcore as well and it uses the same MC4 plugs, uh, but it's also got the Anderson plug on. So literally it will be just plug and play for my situation. And just like that, it comes up now. That was pretty easy. Hardest part is going to get the uh, these MC cable, uh, the MC connectors through. All right, so now all I'm going to do is just tape uh, the connectors onto this uh, pull through, and hopefully we can pull it all through in one go. One down, one to go.
all done. I'm so impressed. Um, we'll just have to tidy that up with a bit of electrical tape and it should be good. So now we've got the solar panel uh, sitting on top of the roof rack. Now I need to mount it to the roof rack. Now these just simply uh, just slide into the track and then you bolt that down. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So now I've mounted the solar panel, um, it's just a matter of uh, connecting the wiring up uh, and then just tidying also the wiring up as well. So um, I've got these um, from Bunnings. Uh, they're just like a cable tie with adhesive backing um, and I'm gonna stick them underneath the solar panel and just keep all those, uh, those wires nice and tidy. And also down the back here, where the wire is run down the back of the, uh, the cab here, um, I'm gonna stick them onto the, uh, onto the window uh, and that'll just neaten things up. All right, so I've gone ahead and tidied up the wiring inside the cabin here. Because um, it is three meters long, there is a little bit of excessive cable. Um, so what I've done is just wrapped a couple of zip ties around that um, just to tidy that up. Um, then we just need to push the carpet back in the sort of place, um, like so. And then we've got the uh, Anderson plug. So as I said previously, I already had the uh, DC-DC charger pre-wired uh, ready for solar. So it's just a matter of just plugging this in, like so. Uh, and waiting for the DC-DC charger to pick that up, which it has now, it's now flashing on boost, so job done. All right, well, there we go, guys. There is the 170 watt solar panel all installed. Look, overall, super impressed with uh, the way it's turned out. I had to man manufacture my own brackets uh, to fit the panel. Um, but look, I'm actually really glad that I actually did because I've got that solar panel sitting nice and low. Otherwise, if I'd used the, uh, the hardcore ones, it would have set up probably another 20 or so mil. Um, and it sort of defeats the purpose of having a, uh, a slimline solar panel. Look, if you're mounting it onto a, like a caravan roof such as this, yeah, you've definitely got to have that air gap underneath. But because I've got the uh, the Rhino Rack um, Vortex bars, there's plenty of airflow. So anyway, if you've got any questions or comments, um, drop them in the, uh, down uh, below. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next one.